Hello Internet, I am Mihai, it is part 13. I want to clone the project repository. Go to GitHub, open Node.js backend repository. I want this repository to be cloned by Jenkins. Let's start. Open IntelliJ. It is pipeline project. Open deploy app Jenkins file. Zoom in. In the previous part, I made a little mistake. I forgot to explicitly tell Jenkins the branch name of the pipeline shared live repository. Right now, please. Add main. Save the file. Now go to Jenkins. I will show you why it worked without main. Open Jenkins. Manage Jenkins. Configure system. Scroll down to Global Pipeline Libraries. It is here. See the default version? It is main. Pipeline worked because the default branch was main. Anyway, you better write the branch name in the Jenkins file. Let's commit it. Go to Git Changes. Open the changes. Check the changes. It is OK. I will apply and write the commit message set shared lib branch name and in a new line clone project repository. Commit, commit anyway. It was committed. Very good job. I want to create a new stage. Scroll down and write stage, stage name is clone project repository, open the body, write steps, write script, very good, add timeout, just copy it from the previous stage, Copy, past, set it for three minutes, it will be enough. Now in the script, get the repository name. Write final, string, repository name, equals env dot e underscore project underscore name. Save. Get the source branch name, final string, source branch, equals params dot source underscore branch. Save. The source branch parameter isn't created yet. I will create it, but before I create it, I want to print it in the console output. So scroll up, new line, write the comment print parameters, new line, echo, param, space, source branch, colon, open single quotes, and inside single quotes, you write params dot source branch. It is all, save the file. Now go to Jenkins. I want to show you the repository name. Dashboard, open the folder, open the pipeline, open the logs, scroll down. Here I printed the environment variables, scroll down, and here is the project name or repository name. Node.js backend. It is the same as on GitHub. Node.js backend. Now I want to create the source branch parameter. Go to pipeline. Go to configure. Scroll down. Select this project is parameterized. Add string parameter. 
trim the string and write the name source underscore branch. Default value is main. Very good, save. Now click on build with parameters and you see we have a parameter source branch and also the value is main. Very, very good. You learn very fast. Go to IntelliJ. Remove env command. I don't need it anymore. And save the file. Now I want to update global configs. I want to add the URL of Node.js repository. Open shared library project in IntelliJ. Go to File Explorer. Open with IntelliJ. Very good. Open global configs file in the resource folder. It is it. I already opened it. Zoom in. In the git object, create a new variable. Remote HTTPS. Colon. Save the file. Go to GitHub. Click code. Select HTTPS and copy the URL. Open Jenkins, I mean global configs, and pass here the copied URL. Zoom out. OK, it's good now. Now I want to write a placeholder instead of Node.js backend. Select it, remove it, and write repository underscore name. Save the file. Check git changes. I added a new line. Very good. Apply. And write the commit message. Edit GitHub URL. In the new line, you write clone project repository. Commit. Very, very good. In the VARS folder, here, create a new file. New file clone project repository dot groovy. Enter. Add the file to git. Very good. Move the tab. It's better and write the call method public void zoom in it's better call open parenthesis open the body and save the file the method will accept two parameters let's create them string repository name comma string source branch Save the file. First thing, before I clone the repository, I want to check if the source branch is not empty. So write the comment. Fail if source branch is not provided. New line if exclamation mark for not source branch. Open the body and write error, double quotes, source branch, or git clone is in single quotes, you put the source branch. Very good. In case source branch is empty, the pipeline will fail and will show the error message source branch for git clone is and the source branch value. Nice. Now let's clone the repository. Write the comment clone repo. Save. I need the GitHub URL. So I write final string git URL equals generate git URL. The method is going to be private. So I put the underscore at the beginning of the method name. It is not mandatory, 
but it will be easier for you in future to find the method name. Create a new line and write private string underscore generate git URL. It will accept one parameter, repository name. Open the body and write final string remote URL pattern equals deployment configs dot global configs open square brackets double quotes go to global configs open the map name past it open again square brackets go to global configs copy remote https and past it it is the command also please check the first line IntelliJ automatically imported deployment configs class. If your editor didn't do it, you should import deployment configs manually. You just need to write the import command from the first line. It will be enough. Now please check that the remote HTTPS has the repository name placeholder. I want to replace it with the Node.js backend repository name. So write remote URL pattern dot replace in double quotes write repository name placeholder I will copy it past it comma as a new value you put the repository name copy and past save the file and return the new value very good. Go back to git URL and as an argument put the repository name. Perfect. Save the file. Now go to Jenkins pipeline. Pipeline syntax. Snippet generator. Select checkout. SCM is git. In the repository URL, you write anything you want. I will replace it later with a normal value. No credentials. For branch name, you press help. Copy refs heads. Close the help and pass it. And write main. Disable polling, disable changelog, generate pipeline script, copy the generated script, pass it in IntelliJ, zoom out, here is the entire command, save the file and let's modify it. First thing, put the arguments in parentheses. It is more readable. Put the CSM object in the first line. Very good. Add comma. Put all the variables of the CSM object in a separate line. Zoom in. Very good. Put repository URL as the second variable. Add comma. Perfect. Set changelog to true. And put poll in a new line. Save the file. Nice. Set the branch name. Add double quotes everywhere. And also here. Very good. And instead of main, you write source branch. Very good. Instead of anything you want, you put the real repository URL. It is git URL. 
save very good now i want to commit go to commit changes check the changes i just created a new file apply it and write the commit message created clone project repository method new line clone project repository commit and push click push and the changes were pushed very very good now copy the file name refactor rename copy Open another IntelliJ. It is deploy app Jenkins file and pass the file name. In the parentheses, you put the repository name and source branch. Very good. Save the file. Go to git changes. Check what you changed. I added the parameter log. Apply it. I removed the print environment variables and I created a new stage. Write the commit message, create it, clone project repository stage, new line, clone project repository. Very good. Commit. push I want to run the pipeline go to Jenkins go to pipeline dashboard build with parameters select main branch and click build wait three seconds I see here the init stage clone project repository stage refresh the page Click the circle to open the logs. Scroll down. I see the log source branch main. I see the global configs map. It has a new object git and the variable remote HTTPS. And here is the URL with the placeholder. Scroll down. The pipeline entered clone project repository. It set the timeout for three minutes. Below Jenkins cloned the Node.js backend repository. Here is the URL. And if I look a bit down, I see the branch name. It is main. Very good job. As the next step, I want to show you what happens in the Jenkins workspace. Open the terminal and connect to your server. Remember, it was SSH your username at your IP 192.168.050. Press enter. Write your password. Now I am connected to the server and I want to go to Jenkins folder. CD for change directory slash var lib Jenkins enter list the content. It's better ls space dash la very good i need the folder workspace open it list the content i need to enter node.js backend app folder very good list again and I have here two folders, one for shared libraries and one folder is temporary. When I run Jenkins, Jenkins will create the Node.js backend deploy folder with all its content. Also, I want to open this location from the file explorer. Open file explorer, open a new tab and write sftp colon slash slash your server IP, port number for SSH, it is 22, 
and path on the local disk. I want it to be slash for the root directory. Enter. Write your username, password, login. Go to var folder. Go to lib. Go to Jenkins. Go to workspace. Go to Node.js backend app. Refresh, and here Jenkins will create its folder when it runs the pipeline. I will show you how it happens, but before it, I need to go to pipeline syntax. Open pipeline syntax. Snippet generator. Find sleep. It is here. Sleep time for 20 seconds and select minutes. Generate the script, copy it and pass before clean workspace. Here. Add parentheses. Instead of minutes, write seconds. Save the file. Copy the command. Passed it before cloning, here, sorry, not here, but here, and passed it after cloning. Save, and I want to commit it. Check the changes, apply one, apply two, apply three. Everything is applied, write the commit message. Edit sleep commands. Very good. Commit and push. Click push. Perfect, guys. Go to shared library repository. I want to remove the debug log. Open the deployment configs class and to remove the line 15. Remember, I even put a comment to remove it. Very good. Go to changes. Check them. I removed the debug log. Apply. And write the commit message. Removed. Debug log. Commit and push. Very good. Open Jenkins and run the pipeline. Source branch main and click build. Open the logs. Open file explorer. The pipeline is sleeping and nothing happened in the file explorer. I refresh it and you see nothing happened. Let's wait. The pipeline cleaned the workspace. It is here. Check the changes in the workspace. Nothing happened. The pipeline cloned the repository and it is sleeping for 20 seconds. Refresh the workspace and you see it created a new folder. And here you have all the files and folders from the GitHub Node.js repository. The pipeline finished, it cleaned the workspace. Status is success. I will refresh the workspace and the Node.js backend folder will be gone. Refresh and it is gone. You did a very good job, really. Let's remove the slips. Open Jenkins file and remove them. Remove one, remove two, remove three. Save. Check the changes. One, two, three. Write the commit message. Removed. Slips. Commands. Commit and push. Push. Very, very good. Open the diagram. 
select clone project repository, make it white, save the file, and it is all. Thank you for watching.